Ugh. I really thought I was going to be able to beat the last sword trial in Zelda. I made it to floor 14, I think. It gets real hard. Mostly just the monsters that you're fighting are very strong. And they can kill you in like one hit. It's so ridiculous. Anyway, I did make it pretty far. But because it's such a long endeavor, like... If you die, you have to start over from the very beginning again, and it's like a long process. There are a lot of levels. They're called floors in this, because I think it's like each time you go to a new one, you're going farther underground, I think. But, um, fuck. I really, I don't want to try again right now, because I was trying to do that for like an hour and a half, I think. And I only made it like just a little over halfway, I think. I think there's like 26 or 27 floors in the last one. I called in sick today because I woke up at 3 in the morning uh, to barf. I think it was because I had a really bad migraine. I don't think it was because of um, like my sickness or whatever. Like I don't think my cold was, you know, had turned into something that made me want to barf. Um, I think. It was because of migraine, but I still felt really um, queasy this morning when I got up. So it's 10 o'clock now. I just um, got up. I'm it's not feeling great. Like work would not be fun at all today. So I'm glad I called it sick. So I'm just going to chill today. I only wrote 1200 words, but I'm very tired and I'm still sick, so I'm gonna go to bed. I am off to find a pretty cupcake. It's probably gonna have to be a pack of cupcakes that I won't eat because I won't be able to taste it. But I'm filming the last of my cupcake skits tonight, so uh, I need to get a cupcake to celebrate. So I'm just at the grocery store. Um, all the bakeries are downtown. And they they probably close. Like at 5, everything downtown closes early. So I'm just going to go to the grocery And I'm just, it's just, like, I'm not going to be able to fucking taste it. So <laughs> I just want something cheap anyway. So I'm just at the grocery store. I could have gotten just one single cupcake for $3 and gotten like a fancy one, like a s'mores one, because they have s'mores cupcakes in the cupcake videos. Um, but I felt like it was pointless to get a fancy cupcake that I'm not going to be able to taste or might taste gross. Like, I don't know. I haven't tried, like a lot of things taste gross to me, right? So I just got a pack for $8 and then I can bring the rest to work tomorrow and everybody else can take joy in having some cupcakes. That'll be nice. tell that my sweater matches my hair. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going out with my friend to visit our other friend who is at like an art show this weekend that I was supposed to be a part of and then was kicked out of <laughs> because my books aren't French. Because it's like in a French area. And then they decided after they accepted me that they they didn't want English authors in it, so. <laughs> it's so magical out. I have to go pick up my groceries. Whoops, whoops. There's a hole there. <laughs> anyway, I'm behind on my writing again. Story of my life. It's because of life. Like, I was with a friend all day yesterday, and I was already behind yesterday, and I was planning on catching up yesterday, but of course I didn't, because I was with a friend. <laughs> uh, 
and but I think it'll be easier for me to not get up behind now because I was also had my cupcake series on TikTok that I was doing and I'm done that I posted the last episode today so that was very time consuming so that won't be taking up <laughs> my time anymore and I'm probably still I'm still gonna be posting stuff on TikTok but I'm not like um gonna be as consistent for now like I might post um every other day maybe and I'm just gonna do simple little skits not like a, a fiction series or whatever right um but I do have another one coming <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the rest of November, there's going to be no more fiction, uh, skits on TikTok. So I think it'll be easier for me to stay on track for the rest of November. And so anyway, I'm supposed to be at like 33,000 and something words and I'm at 30,000 and something right now. Like I'm basically, I'm at two days. Yeah, I'm two days behind. Okay. So I'm literally like 400 words shy of catching up. Uh, but I started having a sneezing fit, <laughs> and my laptop battery is gonna die, and it's almost midnight, so I'm just gonna call it a night and go to bed. <laughs> Good morning, Anarimo. It's only minus five, but that wind is cold. <laughs> and it's the last day of week three, so uh, I guess I'll find a I'll find a piece to read to you after work today. <laughs> Okay, I have my PJs on, so I'm going to attempt to make, well, I'm, I'm, to, I'm going to make supper, but I don't know if it's going to be good because it's something new. So I'm going to have to test it. Well, I can test it right now. I have this red pepper Alfredo. I was afraid the Alfredo, Alfredo was going to taste like it was going bad because there's going to be garlic in it, right? Um, I don't even think I put it in the fridge because it's technically doesn't need to. So I'm going to try it before I even like cook anything and then I'll decide what I want to do. It smells kind of sweet. It doesn't taste like much, but it also doesn't taste gross. So I think my supper's gonna be nice. Um, I'm gonna probably have to smother it in mustard for it to taste like anything, but this is good. That's delightful. <laughs> My laptop battery is dying and I have like 50 words left to catch up. I guess I'll go to my desk and finish there and then look for a spot to read to you guys. I'm confused. It says that I needed to write 1,247 words today, which is incorrect because I was behind by 400 words yesterday. And I'm above the goal. The goal today is 35,000 words. And I'm at 35,013 words, and it says that I haven't written enough words yet today. I don't understand. <laughs> like, literally none of what is happening on my stats page is making any sense. None of it makes sense. <laughs> okay, can I put this somewhere? Can I just put this here while I read? Okay. Um, I didn't even, like, look. I was about to start looking for a spot to read, and then I just found a part that I thought was funny. Anyway, um... This will be fun for anyone who has seen the my Mars skits, I guess, and hopefully also fun for people who haven't, but anyway, um, I'm not giving any context. Okay, here we go. I need to say something else. I can't just start examining him after having not seen him for so long. Maybe I can get a different doctor to do his exam. Yes, that's a good idea. So how's it going, I ask, instead of looking into the different doctor idea I had. Are you still with Anna? Uh, no. We broke up three months ago. Oh no, I'm sorry, I say. That's hard. Yeah, he sighs. It had been it had been over for a while before he broke up, but yeah, still hard. We stare at each other and I start to fidget with my stylus. He looks away and then back at me and I smile, but actually I want to die. So you're a physician for the Mars group. That's pretty cool, Jack says. Oh, yeah, but I mean, I'm staying here, so it's not as cool as it could be. Right. And then everything gets even more awkward because as I start to say that we should get on with the physical, Jack asks me if I'm seeing anyone. Our sentences overlap and I could probably get away with pretending that I didn't know what he said, but I do know what he said. What? I ask, deciding to pretend that I don't know what he said. Sorry, that was so inappropriate, he says. So he doesn't even want to pretend with me. Okay. He totally could have just pretended he said something else to go along with my pretending that I didn't hear what he said, but I guess he's owning it. Yes, let's get on with the physical. 
So he's not pretending that he said anything else, but it seems he's now taking back the invitation for my response. Um, yeah, the physical, I say. I start by checking his eyes, shining a little light in them and checking the reaction of his pupils, and then I check his peripherals. We're both staring at each other, and while I'm actually focusing and paying attention to what his eyes are doing, it still just feels like we're staring, like we're looking longingly into each other's eyes. We're not. I'm not. But somehow, it still feels like that. So I say the thing that I sort of wish isn't true in this moment, but it's the thing that's needed to cut this awkwardness from the room, I know it. I am, I say quickly. Maybe too quickly. Does he know what I'm talking about? Uh, seeing someone, I add. I am seeing someone. Jack blinks a couple of times and looks a little hurt, but only for a second. He nods and swallows, clears his throat. Right, of course you are. Why, of course I am. Oh, I don't, I don't know, just, I didn't mean it like, oh, of course, that's just my luck. I meant it like, of course you are because you're great. I smirk a little and nod, but say nothing. He doesn't know that I'm great. We haven't seen each other in over eight years. 